camera on. We're not out of the metro station yet, but this is mine and Pete's first ever. Wow, Pete, first reaction. Oh my god, look at that. That is amazing. Absolutely stunning. Oh wow. So these are the these are the tickets we got a couple of months ago. We think these are alright to use. We don't think we need to get another ticket, we think we can just use these, so I'll let you know. But these are ones we just booked a couple of months ago and printed off in advance. As you can see they've got a barcode in that one. We know it's these are the Vatican ones, we have to actually go get a um, ticket printed off as well as this, so we'll see. Let's head over. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so it's half past eight. It looks like they're opening up. Yeah, looks like it. So it looks like half past eight opening, Pete. <laughs> we thought, I thought half past eight, but then the book says 9am, doesn't it? So, let's check the website, I would say, instead of reading one of the books. Security, what are you doing? Have to get all your bags checked, which is good. How easy was that Pete with a ticket? Very easy. Very easy. The queue's quite big, so I would say get in that queue for quarter past eight. I must say it was much worse to get to Eiffel Tower. Oh, Eiffel Tower was a lot worse. So yeah, get your tickets in advance. If not, get in that queue for about half for about eight o'clock, eight fifteen, and then get your tickets. Right. Let's have a wander around the Colosseum. Wow, look at that. So is this where the floor was, Pete? Yeah. And this was all underneath where where all the dungeon where all the prison cells, dungeons and animals was and whatever. So yeah, the floor would have been across there and then this would all have been underneath where the fighting took place on top. I'd love to have seen this place when it was happening, Pete. All the fights and that. Yeah, I bet it looked amazing, don't you? It's like on a stadium, isn't it? Yeah. If I could go back in time, it would be to like an era like this, the Romans. One of the main attractions of Rome, besides Vatican, of course. One of the main in the world, isn't it? Supposed to be shit lots of people, but wasn't that many. What I no. was expecting. I think if you leave it, I think if you leave it later in the day, I think the queue will be massive. Yeah, if you like come in, yeah. if you come in, get your ass out of bed early and get here. Don't forget it's to worth it. stand twice if you got no tickets. One for tickets. Yeah. For I wonder where the um. Like the leader sat the Jenny, you know, on the films you see where it gives a thumbs up, thumbs down, like to kill them or not. Yeah. Wonder where they sat, they look pretty. Is maybe there, there's like empty space. Oh, like them three there. Oh, that space there. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Oh, there. Yeah, see, below that, like, yeah. yeah. Them yellow lines. In that area, you mean? Maybe, yeah. Yeah, maybe so, yeah. Be warned, the very steep steps out there. They're not um They're not your normal steps, they're quite big. I'm sure there must be a lift built in somewhere for you if you're not fit like me. I presume there is a ticket office outside still, which was in that corner. But you can see now the queue's massive. The time is 
It's only five past nine, half an hour yeah, ago. After will be much more longer, is it? So you can get tickets inside, you can queue up, come inside and get tickets. But I presume there's a ticket office right there behind that tree. And that's what that queue's for. It's, this morning at half eight, that queue was nowhere near that size. See that there, Pete? Like a concert arena. We'll be doing all this, won't we? Yeah. There's a yeah. amphitheatre. If anybody knows Latin. What does that say? That is on the outside of the um, Colosseum. But yeah, I presume that's the Roman Forum, Pete. Yeah. And Palatine Hill, we've got all that to do as well. It's a good job I've got about 12 hours of memory card. And of course through there, as you can just see it peeking, is the Colosseum. Sunglasses down because that sun is hot today. It's forecast 26 degrees, not a cloud in the sky. And it looks like it's right. Remember, this is nine o'clock in morning in October. <laughs> It's not the peak of summer. I think, if I remember rightly, the summer here was horrendous. It was like 38 degrees. Oh, yeah. Now that looks good. I hope the sun's not blocking the view out because that is amazing. Wow. Oh, wow. This is all in like the Colosseum is just through there, so this is all at the back. Some more little sculptures here. Oh wow, is that what it looked like? You know, oh wow. Since the late Republican period, we had a pre-distribution of cereals, grain or bread, periodically um, wine, oil, and the 11th of November, 1786. The Roman Doors, the Scarlet Lamb, and the same way, nobody paid for the tickets inside a Colosseum, but it was a gift in this case by the Emperor. Time. So, the so this is in 1865. 1865. If we get onto the bottom, oh yeah. Underneath's not been excavated yet, has it? Still got the floor on it there. 18, so what's that? Oh, a while ago, 145, 142 years ago. Hundred and fifty-two years ago. 1813 to 1816. Oh, wow. Looks a lot different there, doesn't it? Yeah. Pete, you just said, didn't you, how busy it is now, Pete, compared to earlier. Much more. So busy, look. A couple of times more. Yeah, and the queue outside is huge. Um, we came in at half eight, didn't we? Yeah. It's now ten to ten. An That's hour why you're supposed to come in very early, yeah. like that. Yeah, it's so busy now. Get in here at half past eight when it opens. Can't recommend that highly enough. So, we've walked around the Colosseum twice. We've been in here one hour and 45 minutes, so let's head to the other stuff, what's on offer in this area, like Palatine Hill and the Roman Forum. Let's go. 
So I've just come out of the Coliseum. That was amazing. 10 out of 10, Pete, yeah? Yeah. 10 out of 10, brilliant. I treated on the same as Wembley. Yeah, same as the Wembley Stadium tour, yeah. And that was high, because you really enjoyed that, didn't you? That was a really good day. Um, yeah, the Roman Forum, Palatine Hill is all here. And it's on our ticket to do, so that's where we're going to head now. You can see how busy it is outside. We've got time lapse going on, if you can see it. The Roman Forum and Palatine Hill, which is up here. I guess this is the hill. So we're now in the Roman Forum. Amazing beef <laughs> The best beef of Europe. Got all the all parts of the city. It's stunning. Amazing. What do you think to it in here, Pete? All right. So that was a good all right. Pete's all right, it's going three different levels. That's part of the old uh, Roma, I suppose. City, yeah. I say the, um, the Colosseum is on it. You can just see the t little top bit sticking out the corner of that building, but so that's where the Colosseum is, so all this would have been leading up to the Colosseum. So we've made our way down to this bottom bit. You see it's another boiling hot day. You'd have liked it in there, Pete. I thought they were the brothels. <laughs> and you can hear them now working away on it, can you? Structures a few feet apart. This looks amazing. So now we're at the opposite end to what we came in. And that's what you see. We came in right over there. Okay, so that's the end of the Roman Forum. We're going to head out, see what else we can see on our list, whatever's near here. But yeah, enjoy, Pete. Really good, eh? Really good. Highly recommend the Roman, for Roman Forum, sorry. If you like walk, it's Yeah, there's loads to see, loads to see. Right, let's head on, Pete. Time to have a drink and then find out what we're doing next. So we've got to it, St. Maria Maggiore, that's what it's called, the church. So we're going to cross over and then go have a look around there. St. Maria Maggiore. Yeah. 
Wow. This is huge. You can see again, the ceiling's all done. In the side. So I just heard a woman say, I'll tell Pete as well, Pete, Pete, I just heard one of the guides say that the Pope, the Pope comes here once a year to pray. Yeah? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, once a year he comes here to pray. Look at that ceiling. Well, the dome anyway. So that's the St. Maria Maggiore done. Really nice. Nice pizza. We've got the Vatican City tomorrow, so that's going to be right gobsmacking that because that in there is gorgeous. Um, now we're going to head to the City of Water, I think it's called. We're just looking it up. And that's our next stop. It's called the City of Water. This is like the roads, what we walk down constantly while we're walking between destinations, just little roads like this. Not much traffic. But nice buildings there with shutters on them. Somewhere down here, Pete says. Vicus Caparius, that's what we're looking for. Okay, let's go in. Oh wow. It's all hidden under the streets, remember? We are under the streets here of Rome. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> running water there, yeah. Thinking? Definitely running water there, isn't there? So they've they got all the water from all them years ago, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so we're down on the bottom layer. There's not much here. You can look around in probably 20 minutes, to be honest, but... I bet not a lot of people come here. No, I don't see anybody There's here. nobody been here while we've been here. That's where the water's coming from down there. And we was up there. So yeah, for three euros, it's all right. Somewhere to come, but... It's, um... It's not very big at all, but... Like you say, if you're in the area... Yeah, it's near the Trevi Fountain, so you might as well just pop in for three euros. So I'll show you the um, fountain in daytime while we're here. That's it in the daytime, the Trevi Fountain. Still loads of people here. We're going to head to an army museum now. The army museum's hardly got any reviews on TripAdvisor, so I'm not sure. Usually army museums are like the pride of the town, the city and that, but we're going to head there anyway. Hopefully it's better than advertised. So we need to catch the metro to a stop called Lodi. We are now at Barberina, Pete. So we're out of the subway. Good 15 minute ride from the Colosseum area, so... Oh, yeah. 
That looks nice. <laughs> Look at that on the zebra crossing. <laughs> that is crazy. That is getting money as well. We've travelled this distance out of Rome, but we didn't check opening hours or anything. I don't know if it's open or shut or... We think it's shut. We can't find the entrance anywhere. That's the Army Museum, that building there, and I'm sure this is as well, but... We've been to three entrances and all the gates are shut. Oh, maybe it shuts early on a Wednesday. It's five to four, so... Pete's just going to look around there, but that's where we went earlier. Hey, at least we got to see another bit of Rome. Another little journey. We'll probably go in that building there. So yeah, done a lot of off in the Army Museum. There's a National Music Museum. That's the Army Museum there. Story called Dale Fonteria. 09, 2015. Oh. It says are not closed for what? Closed? Oh, is that the entrance? Yeah, that, no. That, hey, it says are not closed for work. Ah. Okay, so well, the Army Museum failed. The plan now is to head back <coughs> into the main park and find something to eat. For some food, Pete. Oh yes. Food time. Some pasta. Some pasta. Yeah, I think I'll be looking at something like that. Let's head for some food. We've got off at Spagna, which is Spanish pasta. So we're going to head down here. The Spanish, Spanish steps right behind. We're going to head down for some food. We've got a big decision, we don't know what to eat. You're in Italy, so what is it, McDonald's or Burger King? <laughs> eh? right. So we found a little restaurant. Pete says he already knows what he's having. What are you having? What's that? Fettuccine alla ragu Oh, like a spaghetti, spaghetti bolognese. 12 euros. And beer. And a beer. Okay, so this is where we are anyway, sat outside in the nice little bar. Gonna decide food and I'll let you know. So I'm gonna have lasagna and some pizza bread with oil and rosemary. Where's my lasagna gone? There it is. So the food is in, there's Pete's. I'll try that lasagna, it's amazing. Is that good? This is um, nothing like garlic bread, it's just <laughs> soft bread. Very nice. That's what's left of Pete's. Good. Yep. As you can see, my plate's not there. That's because I didn't like it. I sent it back. No, not really. It was gorgeous. Really, really nice lasagna. Ice cream time now. After we've paid for this, we'll go have some proper Italian gelato. Now heading to look for some ice cream and then a tube stop. And then we're not going to end the day till we get back to the hotel because I'm off to show you the room. And I'm off to tell you the trouble we had yesterday when we booked in our hotel. I'll have, um, you got chocolate? Yep, chocolate please. Wow. <laughs> um, we have tiramisu, vanilla, cookies. You got vanilla. Vanilla, this one. Yes, vanilla, please. Yeah. Um, vanilla and mint, please. Mint, mint. please. That's my three. Good. 
good. 10 euros, so that's what, nine pound a... That's a lot. It is, but you're in Rome, aren't you? In my country, you can get five for that. Oh, it's nice, yeah, you can in England as well, but... 10 euros, you can get a What that. flavors did you get? What hmm? flavors? Oh, uh, Sacatello. And Chocolate. Nutella and Zabayon. Cool. All right, let's sit down and eat this, yeah? Ice cream. <laughs> I'm struggling, so God knows how you're doing. You're filling you up. Drink your little. Don't forget we're off home on Friday. <laughs> <laughs> I just said to pay, I only paid nine euros for my lasagna. That was ten euros. Good topic. Nice ice cream. Yeah, yeah, really nice. There's the Spanish steps. We're heading back to the hotel now. I'm gonna go catch the metro. Um, yeah, like I said, I'll end this vlog near the hotel because um, I'm going to tell you the trouble we had with him yesterday and show you what I mean. Okay, so we're on the way back to the hotel. Here's the deal. Before we left, we booked a room with two double beds and a, and a private bathroom, but external, not in our room. So we've got the private bathroom. It's just our bathroom, which I'll show you when we get back. Now the room. I'm going to show you this, but I'm just going to talk about it before I get there in case people are around. We opened the door to the room and she went, this is your bedroom. Pete goes, oh nice one, yeah. I went, excuse me, where's my bed? <laughs> there was one double bed, wasn't there? Yeah. Pete's right there, so he's listening. If I'm wrong, he'll, he'll tell me. There was one double bed. She went, oh, this is your room. I says, what do you mean? I says, no, we booked two double beds. No, no, this is your room. And this went on and on, and I, I didn't argue with her. I basically said, "What well, you need to do? We've come all the way from England. But I've got the booking still, shown her it." And I says, "What are you going to do?" Yes, I'm not staying in a double bed with him. Um, when I says I can sleep on the floor, yeah. Yeah, Pete said I'll sleep on the floor, didn't you? Yeah. And, and I said, "Oh, I got, she could fetch that bed from that." Room. Yeah. <laughs> Which then she fetched a single bed in. <laughs> so we settled with it. We've basically paid 85 euros and uh, 85 euros each for three days bed and breakfast. Now the breakfast is not special. We didn't have it this morning, uh, but we're going to have a better look tomorrow because there was quite a few people about this morning, so we didn't really well, get a good much look. Much space as well. It's a space yeah, morning. it's really little. I'll show you it all. We're staying in a place called B and B Movie Home. I'll show you why it's called Movie Home. So you just bust to let them in. Obviously, we've got a key now. And there's the stairs in, make sure the door's shut. And here's the lift. The old school lift. So this is the entrance to the hotel. Okay, so you come in, it's nice and smart. Got a big picture there. This is where breakfast is. In here. We've got a kitchen. All your toast and everything and your cereals and coffee there. Okay, so here they have different rooms. That's our room, I'll show you in a second. Ours is the superhero's room. You have a spy room, a Pulp Fiction room, there's a Western room, and there's a romantic room to the side. So, this is our private bathroom superheroes room toilet so this can only be used by us no problem toilet nice shower sink okay so we walked in she goes this is your room perfect how oh, they've done the beds Where? that bed was, <laughs> that bed was not there there was That's a kids. yeah there was a lamp there and she went here's your room i went Excuse me, there's two double beds. Um, no, I don't have it for women, that's the Manchester booking. But yeah, so Pete, well, I didn't argue with the woman, but I give my piece and so we got that bed put in. But this is the this is the superhero's bedroom. You've got your superhero there, you've got a Captain America shield, you've got Thor, Iron Man, Captain it's America, Hulk. Room, is it? Uh, you've got I Hulk you fist there, <laughs> you've got Wonder Woman. You see, and then we've got our own superhero bedroom, but this 
it's like I'm sleeping in Zach's bedroom 10 years ago. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah, Wonder Woman. But this is, it's not, the bed's really comfy. Uh, what was that like? All right. He slept all right. Bed, so. Yeah. Oh, we've got a balcony. Yeah. It's quite big, as we Yeah. Never oh, it's when I open. You can open it and outside. The balcony is about two foot wide, so that's it. But yeah, that's the trouble we had with our room. Uh, got coat hangers there. Um, yeah, anyway, today, good day. A busy day. Yeah. Very busy. busy day, yeah. yeah. But you enjoyed it. Coliseum. And the forum. What else did we do? A few churches. Oh, we've done loads. It's been a brilliant day. We've actually been out nearly 13 and a half hours. So, yeah, we're absolutely knackered. Um, tomorrow we're up early again. We're off to the Vatican. Uh, it's been a fantastic day. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. And we'll see you all tomorrow when we go to the Vac Vatican City. See you later, Pete. Okay, bye. That's it. See you tomorrow for day three, the last day from Rome. <laughs>